Hey humans, this is Asbog the Gaming Orc, and I'm going to do a quick video about how to get an update with a single click of a mouse the add-ons for ESO or Elder Scrolls Online. Also, I will talk about what add-ons I currently use for the game. The first program we need to download, though, is this Minion program. It's a great application that works for other MMOs like World of Warcraft and that can alter the generic UI, which is often, you know, substandard. We go to this website and download this application here, and it depends on your operating system what application you're going to download. The link to the download, uh, this URL, is in the description of the video, but it's minion.mmoui.com. Once I've downloaded the application and installed it, I open it, and this is what I'll see. But the first time I open it, it'll ask if you know I want to make an account. It's free. And it's only if I want to have the Minion Cloud remember what kind of add-ons I was using for the games that I was using it for. So if like my hard drive crashes, it'll remember all my add-ons. So some people have like real specific add-ons and settings and things. It'll also try to detect any games I'm using, but afterwards I can just click like the do not remember, or don't show me again. So I no longer see the pop-up, so it won't scan my computer to search for more games. Each time I load Minion, I will see if the add-on is up to date. So right now, there's no like update button for any of these add-ons I have installed. But I can click this update all button. And Minion is really good about keeping this up to date. And they're very fast about making sure. So here's this, the great thing about this application, which is why you want to use it. Is when ESO patches or any of your games have a patch to update or do a bug fix, you now can just load in Minion when the day the patch comes out and click update all and bam all your UI's stuff is updated or all your add-ons are updated here's all the add-ons I currently use for the game and I'm going to explain to you why I use them and I'll go through each one because uh, some people have watched the PvP videos and you know maybe they have some more questions and also you know it'll help you out and you can maybe determine what kind of player you want to be because if you're like a gatherer or whatever you know you can use it and then when you go into Elder Scrolls Online you can individually disable the add-on but you can have it installed if you want. So the first one I have is auto invite when I'm in Cyrodiil I can say like hey type this you know 555 or whatever and it handles that automatically so I don't have to like monitor chat and manually click on people just too annoying even though I have did it before you know, you just want to download this app. You just don't be lazy and download it. We use Combat Cloud, which is a very good uh, add-on. Now, the complaint is now the numbers are too big, so it's too much information to process. But basically, it's, it's like the number will pop up, and you'll see how much damage you're taking. But I like to see it if, like, someone blocks or absorbs a spell, or they dodge something, or whatever, right? Like, uh, Cloud Combat will give me that information. Where a Foundry Tactile Combo will give me specific information about damage I am doing for a specific ability, which is really, really cool. Where Cloud Combat does not, unfortunately, tell me a specific ability that's being used by me or my, my opponent that's using an ability on me. So Foundry Tactile Combat gives me a little more information, and, and it's sort of like an arc of numbers. Healing is to the right. Uh, to the left is damage that I do, but it tells me the ability I use. So sometimes if I go back and watch a video I'm doing and I can analyze a fight or whatever, I can see that damage I'm doing. This is a new uh, add-on I'm using now, and you'll see it in the new PvP video. It's a quick slot bar. Basically, I can hit my F keys, and I can load a particular uh, potion without using the without holding down the button and scrolling using the scroll wheel which is really inefficient I can just hit a button but I can still only use I can't click the button and it'll use it automatically which is what I would really want um, unfortunately right now I haven't figured that out but I basically have to hit a button and then hit my drink potion bar so it's a pretty good add-on for uh, potion management inventory grid view is a way to simplify your bag space um, where you can just sort of scroll over items, so I, I like it for bag management. Master Merchant is a really great uh, application. It takes a lot of uh, LUI or whatever I sometimes because it keeps track of like all the sales of your guild, the trade guilds and the guilds that you're in. 
and it can tell you the fair market value of an item. Now it only will tell you the value of an item if a sale, so if a buyer and seller actually met at that price. So it won't be what person people are asking for, which is some of the other merchant add-ons, like people ask for more money. This is actually pretty good because it'll actually tell you the sale of the item. So it gives you a more realistic price. No thank you is a add-on I recently downloaded when you get like these annoying pop-ups like this guild, one of your guild mates completed the dungeon or whatever. Just stupid pop-ups. I just like, no thank you. And so this add-on will like disable that so it won't give me an annoying pop-up. Sky Shards is a great app. Uh, add-on for newer players and even experienced players. It'll actually tell you where all the Sky Shards are in the world. So you can actually pick them up because otherwise you're just never going to find them. You're going to miss them. So if you're in a dungeon, you're like, oh, the Sky Shard's over here, so you can go find it. Wiki's framework is just a great uh, application for, it changes the general UI. It's a pretty big application, but it changes all the entire UI. So it does stuff with my little bars, my health bars and things, and just tightens up the, uh, it has a lot of particular add-ons in it. You know, check it out. You know, see what you think about it. And the Wiki's Outfitter it helps me save. Like this will help me save my skills, and the Wiki's Outfitter helps me save my uh, my gear. So if I have like a PVE set, or if I want to switch to like Specter's Eye, I can do that, or I can switch to Hunting's Raid. It'll save my set of gear that I'm using. So let's actually like I'll just show you quickly how to search for an item. So I wanted to search this item called No Thank You. So I typed in No and so it finds that but I want to go to find more right so I go to search and I'll type in no and uh, no thank you is right there and I can see how many people installed it only 10,000 people but see like destinations this one up here for some reason some people maps coordinations and compasses people really like 200,000 people installed it now some of these will be out of date so you got to kind of take notice but if I double click it, it'll actually tell me some information about it. The vampire altars, like if I'm like, where's this vampire altar at? So for like newer players, and there's like just a lot of like, I like Miek, those quests, um, the Elliot Wells. This is just a really cool, you know, helps you with identifying stuff on the map. And see, I could click install if I want to, but I, I don't need to. I don't want to clutter up my UI that much. But there's just a lot of things. You know, chat stamp was one I installed earlier, which just tells me like when the uh, someone actually said something, like what specific time. So I, you don't need it. And here's like a craft and research timer. There's a bunch of really cool ones. So let me clear out that one. And it actually tells me the top one that that was downloaded is actually Sky Shards. And then if you want those mage lore books, you can download that. But I already got it. You know, I had to go through all the dumb zones and get it. There's just a lot of really cool uh, add-ons that you can get. And that pretty much sums up, you know, maybe I missed an add-on or something. Let me know in the comments that, you know, an add-on you really find useful. I'm actually looking for an add-on, a distance add-on. So when I tab target someone, I uh, see the distance that they're at. So I know if I can use an ability like, because uh, snipe is a lot farther range than uh, uh, poison injection. So I want to use that ability at range. So if someone knows of an add-on, that add-on, let me know in the comments. That'd be very helpful. So after I install the add-on, you know, you you need to be, you shouldn't be running the game when you install these add-ons, but you'll need to restart the game if you are running it simultaneously. Because some people use multiple monitors when they play this game. I hope this helps you, human, to learn to be a good PvPer and gamer like me. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.